Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. Now, it's Friday. It's been a really, really busy week. It's been a completely hectic week, but it's going to be an amazing weekend. Why? Because it is my amazing dad's birthday tomorrow. So the 5th of October is my dad's birthday and my mum and dad, I'm very, very blessed in this world and in this life that they are truly, truly my best friends. And I know that sounds cheesy, but they truly, truly are. They are incredible people. I worship the ground they walk on and I love them to pieces. So tomorrow is my dad's birthday. And honestly, he is an incredible soul, an incredible man, and he's had an incredible life and um, he's provided an amazing family. And um, yeah, it's just truly, truly special. And he is a truly, truly special individual. I always refer to my dad, and I know he gets a little bit embarrassed as this, but as my oak tree. Now you might think, how, what an odd thing to, uh, to call and associate with your dad. But do you know what? It is because let's be honest. Okay. An oak tree stands strong and tall and proud and firm in the ground in stormy weathers in whatever throws at this tree. It's always there and you can always depend on it and you can always count on it and you can always just take confidence and have faith that it's just always going to be there no matter what through other just anything whatever gets thrown at this oak tree is still standing and that's my dad because do you know what as cheesy as it sounds whatever happens in family and let's be honest we've all got families which are busy hectic and Mine this last year, it's been quite stormy, let's put it this way, and um, a lot has been thrown at us, um, but my parents are always at the centre, and you know what, they just fill me with so much admiration and love, and I think the world of them, and as I say, I worship the ground they, they walk on, and it's just always, just, you don't even have to, the relationship I have with my father is that I don't even have to say the words for him to know that I'm feeling unwell, or for him to know I'm feeling down in the dumps, or... Or if something's happened, or if, for example, let's turn it positive, if there's an achievement or if something amazing's happened, my dad just knows. And you know what I love? Sometimes he's a man of very few words, and but do you know what? I don't even need him. Sometimes just a smile, and I know that I've done well, and it makes me feel on top of the world, and I feel so, so sort of grown and so, but yet at the same time, a small little child that do you know what? My, dad, my dad's happy. I've, I've made my dad proud. And I absolutely love that. And my mum and dad, honestly, they've been together 41 years. They've celebrated the July just gone, 41 years of marriage. How incredible is that? And um, you know only just actually earlier. So I'll let you into what I've, I've been doing this evening. So it's Friday evening. We're just coming up to about 10, uh, 10 to 8. And um, my mum's birthday, because my mum and dad's birthday is only about a month in between. So my mum's birthday is the uh, 6th of September and my dad's is the 5th of October. So literally just, what, a month, just under a month. And um, so I love to cook. I absolutely love to cook. And I got that from my nan, my mum's mum. And we've had an incredible bond and I grew up in that amazing love and that amazing bond. And food is a passion and a love. And I learned that from my mum and from my nan. And... Um, so I, I, I've really been getting into that the past year, I would say, back into it. I've always been in it and I've loved it. And I said to my mum this year that pick any, she didn't want to go out for dinner. I wanted to treat her for lunch. I wanted to do the whole expensive, lavish lunch and everything. My twin brother is a chef. He is absolutely incredible uh, with food. It's art. He's an incredible talent. And I said to my mum, actually, that I wanted to spoil her uh, for lunch. But no, she didn't. She didn't want to go out. We've had quite a stressful time. She just wanted to be in the comfort of her own home. And I thought, OK, then, do you know what? I'm going to bring the restaurant to you and I'm going to cook it. Um, I know that's speaking quite highly of myself. But um, so I said, what would you like? And I had all my recipe books and everything. And I was and I was really trying to prepare. And my mum said, no, I wanted a Chinese curry. And then her favourite dessert afterwards, she wanted to eat in mass. And, you know, I thought, OK, that's I wanted to do so much more, but my mum wanted that. She chose that. And do you know what? I made everything from scratch, which I really, really love to do. And every Friday I cook the family meal. And um, it, I don't want to be sort of, as I say, blowing your own trumpet, but it was beautiful. And on the day of my mum's birthday, when I was doing it, we had all the family, my brother, my sister-in-law, niece, um, niece, my two nieces, uh, my brother's fiance, we had a house full. And do you know what? It was after they left, then we had the meal <laughs> and it was absolutely lovely. 
and it really, really was. And it was such a lovely time. My mum, my dad, and my oldest brother was here, and me. So today, what I've been doing is I, um, I said the same to my dad. What would you like? Because he is very much one for my mum and his company, and his children. He's very much like his castle, his home. Um, very much. He he works really, really hard. He provides an amazing sort of atmosphere, ambiance, beautiful family home. Love it still here <laughs> but then again my excuse is i've had quite a few health problems i've had quite a lot a lot of challenges but you know what i'm very privileged i'm very blessed and i said to dad what would you like as your choice of meal and dad said a mixed grill which of course is quite traditional so what would you like so he'd like the steak the chop he'd like the sausage um the mushrooms the tomatoes and everything like that so honestly we I thought, is that going to be too much for one plate of food? So this afternoon, so anybody here in the UK knows M&S food, top end. If you want to gift somebody something from Marks and Spencers, beautiful. So I got it all in there and done it all this evening. It took me literally most of the afternoon. And we've just all sat down to it. And you know, it was absolutely beautiful, if I say so myself. And it was just wonderful. But you know, before I'd done all the food this afternoon, which I really, really loved is my mum and dad are very, very traditional people. And they never sort of, you know, you get some people who are very lovey-dovey. My mum and dad are very sort of almost regimental, very traditional, but you can just tell that they just know each other inside out and what they're feeling, what they're thinking. And you know what? For, I haven't seen it for a long time. My mum and dad were having a bit of a joke in that outside. And my dad put his arms around my mum and I just seen them laughing. And it was almost like, it, it was just lovely. And I stood back and I went to ask my mum a question, actually, in the kitchen. And I stood back and I thought to myself, do you not? No. But owl. I thought, us kids are always there all the time. And I thought, I could see my mum and dad. And I thought, do you know what? It just made me glow, made me feel warm inside that I am here because of them. And I just thought that was so magical. And I absolutely love that. So I loved doing uh, the family meal for my dad today, for my dad's birthday, for tomorrow, because he's going on a fishing trip tomorrow with my eldest brother. And then on Monday, he is going with my next brother down. Um, so that's going to be really, really lovely for him. And a couple of days ago, he went fishing with uh, my twin brother. So he's an absolute fishing fanatic. Fantastic at it. Very traditional, very regimental. My father was in the Navy. So just absolutely, as you can imagine, just an incredible person, very, let's put it this way, I think the way my father still <laughs> treats me is I'm about 10 years old, but I just know that he always wants the best for me. And my father has been a huge inspiration in my career, in my life, of me when I have setbacks in life with, I've had unfortunately quite a few health problems, a number of horrible operations, and my mum and dad are just always there, always there. Come on, just encouraging all the way, just every time it gets rough, every time you get knocked down, they get back up. It's almost like they hypothetically lift me back up and they're always there. And you know, as I say, and I know in this world that a lot of people go through difficult times and this, my family have had them. They really have. But I also appreciate in that breath that I am very, very truly blessed to have both my incredible parents have a wonderful family and the good Lord above blessed me with so, so much. And I am truly thankful for that every single day. And when I forget to be thankful for that, I just, I really knew, just need to shake the life out of myself and think, actually, do you know what? Wake up, Bradley, and stop being so damn ungrateful. And just stop being selfish. Because, honestly, it truly just is. It just, sometimes it overwhelms me when I actually take a step back from life and think, do you know what? You want to be doing this, you want to be doing that. But actually, look what is right in front of you. And I do. Tomorrow is my father's birthday. And it's just a lovely, lovely time to just... Really, if you can, uh, um, that notion of stop and smell the roses because they're actually quite beautiful is literally just, if you can, pause time, stop time, stop rushing around, enjoy the right now and just enjoy the treasured magical moments when you can, when you get them and they're right in front of you rather than keep striding ahead. Um, and that's what I plan to do tomorrow. So finished work early this morning, done my favourite, um, my father's favourite meal, mum and dad downstairs, my, my, bro my brother's in the family home as well and me just lovely. I'm going to be seeing my brothers tomorrow. My father will be as well. Um, my other two brothers, I've got three brothers. Um, and I imagine we'll be seeing a lot more of the family as well tomorrow, which will be absolutely lovely. Me, I full swing into Christmas. So Christmas preparations, that was the back end of August. So very, very busy with that, getting things ready. My subscribers will know I'm Christmas crazy. And at work, I'm called Mr. Christmas, which is really, really lovely too. And um, yeah, so loads going on there, I have to admit. But 
for now, stop and pausing and enjoying the moment, my father's birthday. And on that note, honestly, if I am half the man my father is, I will be incredibly successful. Um, I'm 31, and do I feel as I'm there yet? Not quite, no. Um, but it's all good. It's all good. And as I say, I'm truly, truly blessed. And I'm so, so privileged and just so, so proud. And I am so proud of my parents. You know what? They are so incredible. And do you know what? Just when you think of it, 41 years. Wow. They're strong characters. They've got strong opinions, strong views, strong self, strong, strong individual characters. And it's just, you know what? Sometimes I walk into a room and the conflict of interest, and I'm like, wow, okay. <laughs> and they wonder why my twin brother is the way he is, so loud and so outspoken. And me, I'd like to think I'm quite reserved, quite conservative, quite sort of, I'm extremely soft-hearted. But do you know what? When you bring it all together, it's an incredible mix. And as I say, my mum and dad, incredible, amazing individuals, love them to pieces, love the bones of them. And uh, yeah, another very, very privileged day tomorrow. And I'm incredibly pleased and proud. So do you know what? Please join me in wishing my father a very, very, extremely very happy birthday. God bless you, Dad, and I love the bones of you, and I love you to pieces. Bye for now. Happy birthday, Dad. And for everybody who's watching this, thank you very much for sharing this clip with me. And until next time, I look forward to you joining me then. Bye now.